Right lads, welcome back to another video on the channel today. And in today's episode of the Newcastle United Career Mode, we've actually got a massive first two games and the first one will be against Chelsea, so let's get into it. There is our team, as you can see. Obviously, Bono starts in goal, we've got the back four of Trippier, Gwehi, Botman and Gavardi. Our midfield three, Depaul, Gimaraes and Willock, with Jota, Isak and St. Maxman leading the line. The Chelsea team is just as good though as Diogo Costa, I believe it is, the Porto keeper. Starts in goal, they've got Araujo, Quates, Koulibaly and Kukre as a back four, with Kante, Barea, Loftus-Cheek, Hudson-Odoi, Havertz and Aubameyang. As the forward six, it's a very, very good team. As you can see, we're on ultimate difficulty. We're at St. James's Park. It's a massive game. Let's get into these highlights. Come on, Newcastle. Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. So we kick off, we kick off from left to right. We're hoping for a dream star against a very, very good Chelsea side. Chelsea get the throw, trip your intercepts very, very nicely indeed. Jota trying to trigger him from Isak. Isak on the end of it. It's a good through ball. He's beat Koulibaly. Can he beat the keeper? Diego Costa. It's 1 0 Newcastle. Not really against the runner play. 15 minutes, not much has happened. But Alexander Isak takes, I mean, a good amount of uh, time to go through there. But brilliant goal. Good start. Koulibaly gets tangled. Looks like real life, really. He's not a very good defender, as it seems. It's 1 0 the Jordy boys already. Fantastic. They get lucky. Oh, it's a good through ball. Havertz is through on goal. Can Bono stop him? It's cleared off the line by Gavardi. How fantastic defending from the Croatian superstar. Can we count ourselves now? I actually think we can. Koulibaly again gets the wrong side of his man. Jota's through on goal. Can you think the key ball? No, I'm panicking. Don't panic. No, I am because I'm going to lose my job. Saved. I should have done so much better there. A bit of a slow first half. We are 1-0 up though. Potentially could have been more, but still, very good stuff so far. Jota retains the ball very nicely. It's good football again, though. Jota. Depau to shoot again. Another strong save from Costa. Immobile. When did Immobile join Chelsea? Kovacic on the attack again. He's trying to pull it back. I'm pretty sure he manages to do it. We couldn't get near him in the 79th minute. Chelsea draw level. Let's make a couple of subs. So just bought Vega on for Isak. Um, I think Zielinski for Willock. Oh, God. Gawai, he's got to come off. Gavardi at centre-back. And Jota off for Gordon. They're, they're, prep, they're proper peppering us now. But um, we need to need to like hold off for this final period. It's not a bad result at all. We do indeed get a 1-1 draw against Potter's Chelsea. And um, it's fairly even, to be fair. In fact, scrap that. Two shots all game. Bono did make a very, very good save from one of them. But we had nine shots, one point to expected goals. Trippier's got man of the match, which is quite an interesting choice because I would have said Joska was the best defender on the field. Botman was very good as well. And uh, Jota had a decent game along with Isak. Unless so, guys, we are moving on to the Bayern Munich game. It is a simulation, thankfully, because we won the first leg, if anyone remembers, by five goals to nil. And, um, I mean, I call it the Bayern bloodbath, so YouTube will love that. But still, yeah, we're going to move on into that game. It is a simulation, probably a weakened team as we've got Man United next. Right, so we play a very, very changed team, as you can see. Saavedra gets a Champions League appearance. I mean, I played Joel at centre-back for some of that game, so that's an interesting one. But yeah, Zelinski gets the, uh, well, only goal for us. Kimmich scores for Bayern. We beat them 6-1 on aggregate in an absolutely dominating tie. And I can imagine the next team who play us will be really, really worried. Right, a very tired team do get the 2-2 draw away at Old Trafford. Plans have indeed changed as we've drawn a big tie in the Champions League semis. But, oh, well, on this game anyway. Bartman opens the score in the 15th minute, Rashford scores in the 38th, Coop Miner scores for United in the 66th, and then Gucci scores in the 71st as Rashford and St. Maxman share the match ball. Um, and now I've got Leeds away from home again at Ellen Road. Hopefully we'll get a win this time. But the Champions League tie is absolutely horrendous. So Isaac comes in clutch in this game. He gets both goals for us as Sinistera scores in between them. It's not the best result in the world. I mean, we still win, so we can't complain too much. But yeah, very good result, which puts us in good stead for the semi-finals of the Champions League first leg. Let's go and see. Let's take a gander where we're at. They're the teams who progressed from the quarterfinals. Obviously, PSG beat Liverpool 3 on the first leg, got the 2-2 join the second. Barca beat Juventus on aggregate after losing the first leg by two goals to one. And Real Madrid knocked out into just about with a uh, first leg 3-2 victory and a 1-1 draw in the second. And guess who we've got? Okay, could someone please explain why people care about this? Of course it's Real Madrid. Like, I mean, I'd have preferred Barca, to be fair. I'd have preferred PSG, but Madrid on this game 
I'd rather play Mbappe than I would Benzema because you know he'll body every single defender. But nonetheless, guys, we'll move on in good stead. We'll hopefully get the win and we will see the team news. Well, after the intro credits, this is a proper big game. Let's see the highlights. Let's go. Here we are, semi-finals of the Champions League at the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu. We have a very tough opposition, our former career mode side, Real Madrid. In the words of Fabrizio Romano, here we go. Let's see the Real Madrid team before we kick off. Of course, Courtois starts to go. got Giovanni Di Lorenzo, Militao, we've got Andy Robertson from Liverpool in that back four. And of course, Rudiger, the midfield three, Tuchmeni, Camavinga and Valverde. Asensio, Vinny Jr. and Benzema leading the line. What a team that is. Here is our team though. Of course, Bono starts in goal, continues excellent form for us hopefully today. We have the back four of the captain trip. We have Gwehi, we have Gavardial and we have Botman. Midfield three, we have De Pau, Gamarais and Zielinski who earns a call up to the team after an impressive run of goal scoring form. With Jota, St. Max, Isak as the front three. It's a great team, it's a great occasion. Let's see the first highlights for this massive Champions League tie. We kick off from right to left. Come on, Newcastle, let's get a European win. St. Max with a chance to shoot again. What a save by Courtois this time. The pal, good challenge. Gamarais, chance to shoot from distance. Bruno's made it one. No chance for Courtois. What a goal by Bruno Gimarais. Jesus Christ. How can you even explain a player of this talent? That is tremendous stuff. 1 0 Newcastle against the run of play. Trying to get near him. They're a good footballing outfit, but Rudiger's giving away in a dangerous area. Isak on the end of the loose ball. Isak's going through. Alexander Isak to make it two. He's bagged it. What a goal. Newcastle lead by two goals to nil. What a finish by Alexander Isak again. A hey, Rudiger's mistake there. Terrible defending. Isak takes full, full claim on that. 2 0 Newcastle. Eddie Howe's loving this. That was a final highlight on the stroke of half time. We are 2 0 up and it's very, very good for us so far. Very, very good link up play. Jota on the receiving end of that ball. Pulls it back towards Isak. Another good pass from Isak towards St. Maximin. Can he make it three? Alan St. Maximin rolls it past Courtois. And could this be another Bayern Munich demolition job? I mean, it's looking very likely. It's ultimate difficulty, five minute halves, and this is probably the easiest game we've had so far this episode. Oh, we can't quite return the ball, but Zielinski has. Isak's through again. Can Isak make it four? We've hold on this pressure fantastically well. And Isak in the 90th minute of the game makes it four. It makes my job much easier because hopefully I can just sim the last game at St. James's because, I mean, we're four nil up and this is... The end of the game, I think. Right, excellent result again as we beat Madrid by four goals to nil at the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu. I mean, is there anything more to say? That is absolute, utter demolition. Like, yeah, we only had 10, well, sorry, 10 shots slow, but what, only 1.6 went to goals. But we scored four goals from it and they were all like, Courtois wasn't at fault for any of them. Guimaraes' goal was fantastic and they were just dominated all around, even possession and passes they were. So the man of the match is Alan St. Mike's been only got one goal, but deserved it pretty much. All the way throughout the game. Isak did get two, but I mean, I'd have given it Guimarães personally or St. Maximin. So uh, yeah, he had a fantastic game as well. The midfield in general, Zielinski got three assists. He's really coming in clutch towards this end of the season. Bowden didn't even have to make a save at home, well, I mean, away from home against Real Madrid. And uh, I mean, that team is phenomenal. 89, 87, 83 rated midfield. Benzema's now 85 rated. Ozzyman came on, did absolutely nothing. And... Um, I mean, it looks like we're through to the final already. But either way, we've got Liverpool away from home now at Anfield. I think it's at Anfield anyway. I could be wrong. But let's see how we're doing that. It's a very big title game and we need a win. We really do. Right, so a slightly changed lineup in the wake of that massive win against Real Madrid. Two days later, we have got Liverpool. Again, Bono starts to go with about four of Roberto. Guehi is the captain with Botman and Freyze Neda. Midfield three, we've got Dwellington, Willock and Sadler with Almiron. Gordon and Vega as the forward trio. It's very, very changed. I mean, they're seven points above. We've got a game in hand. I don't think we're going to catch him because there's four games left after this. But still, we're going to try our best at Anfield. Five and a half, ultimate difficulty. Let's get into the gameplay. Here we go. It is a big game at Anfield. I was correct in that assumption. And we do play the Reds. It's a sunny game. Let's hope for a sunny result. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Has Elliot Sadler. Plays a lovely ball towards Miggy. On that left-hand side, will want the return ball. Elliot Sadler to make it one. 
Elliot, sadly, I mean, he's not played much this episode and I think he's not played much since he's come through the youth system. Well, that shows his quality. He arrives on time. And Newcastle lead 1-0 at Anfield. It's a good run by Almiron. It really, really is. An even better run by Sadler. Fantastic. But we've pressed Liverpool. We've got him in a tight area. Willock plays it back. Anthony Gordon, the former Evertonian man, makes it 2-0. And I'm not going to lie to you, we are dominating Liverpool at Anfield and ultimate difficulty seems like child's play at the moment. It's phenomenal play, it really is again. Willock with great play and we lead 2-0 at Anfield. Right, very good first half for us indeed. We've scored both shots we've had on target so far. But I must say it's been a very drab game outside of that. No chances to speak of. Elliot Sadler with the delivery. It is a good ball in to be fair. Towards Gway, what a save by Alisson. Vega. Sadler. In towards Vega. Can Vega make it three? Alisson again. Just like real life, he's carrying the Reds. Brilliant challenge, but Liverpool have played through. Bono with a brilliant save. That is tremendous from Bono. Oh, Liverpool get lucky with that. Depay, Salah, coming down the line. Going to try and play it back, you know that for a fact. And they do get a chance. Bono with another brilliant save. And we get it away again just before the end of the game. Liverpool play it in the middle. Oh, it's gone in. No, Frey's nade on the line this time. Can't get it away and Goretzka's got them back in it. I think we've still won though. What a result that is. We do beat Liverpool by two goals to one. They do score at the end of the game, but still thoroughly deserved victory at Anfield. I mean, Liverpool really piled on the pressure towards the end of the game there, but we still, still dominated shots. We had slightly less passes and less possession, but expected goals, we still sort of deserved that game in my opinion. Elliot Sadler, the star of the show, 7.8 rating, joint level with our, well, joint high straight at Mark Gwehi, who also got 7.8. Bono made a few crucial saves, three very, very good ones as well. But Willock with two assists, Sadler and Gordon with the goals for us. I mean, that is a very, very crucial victory against the Reds. I mean, I'm looking at their team, James Norris at left back, Anderson Arroyo at centre back. That is very strange because the players they've got ahead. And you've got Marco Royce, got Tar on bench. That is a tremendous Liverpool side. But Sadler takes the spoils. What a game of football that was. I've seen the game against Real Madrid now. I've decided we've got the game against, uh, I think it's St. James's Park against Madrid. So we are going to sim it. Hopefully we get the win. I mean, we're 4 0 up, so does it really matter? Right, so we do lose 2 1 at St. James's Park. Benzema gets both goals from Madrid, but Jota scores in the 80th. We still win 5 2 on aggregate. It's a very, very good result. A weakened team as well. Don't know why, but I don't know if you can see it. Vega came on as a centre back. I, I don't know, but still, getting through this Real Madrid side is absolutely fantastic, and that puts us in good stead to wrap up this episode. But first, we do indeed get a 3-0 victory against mid-table Tottenham Hotspur, with Diogo Jota getting sent off in the seventh minute of the game. I mean, to top it all off as well, we had three shots, three chances, and scored all three. <laughs> I mean, St. Mike's Ropers scored in the ninth minute, Isak scores six minutes after the restart, and De Pau scored in the 77th minute. I mean, that is a tremendous result. Elliot Sadler starts another game for us, and he has a pretty good game. But I mean, what a result against Spurs. They're actually sixth in the league, but in real life, they're pretty much mid-table fodder. But I mean, I'm not surprised with people like Ndombele in their midfield. Well, nonetheless, guys, this is the league table for the final time in this episode. So we are third in the league going into the final three games of the season in which we've got Norwich, Man City, and who's the other team? Let's take a quick gander. Burnley and Norwich and Burnley are already down. So, yeah, it's pretty much all to play for for us. Liverpool and Man United both take the top two spots, but we've got a game in hand. If we win that, which is against City, we will indeed go above them. So as I say, we have got them three teams in the next episode. First, we've got City at home. Then we've got Norwich away. Then Burnley at home. Then we've got the Champions League final against the Catalonians, the Blaugrana. We've got Barcelona. I believe they're in our Champions League group as well to start the season off. And uh, yeah, it's going to be absolutely insane as a game. But still, the highlight of this episode is probably Elliot Sadler's Man of the Match Masterclass against the Reds, which got us back into this title race and moves us swiftly on to the season finale, which will come out very, very soon. But I do appreciate you guys watching as always. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch an episode of the Newcastle United Cream Mode very, very soon. Thank you very much again, and cheers.